What's up everybody, Bennett Grazer here. So you've been filming with your iPhone standard camera for a while, but you're not sure if you should upgrade and use a professional camera app like Filmic Pro. Well, in today's video, I'll be comparing the iPhone standard camera app with the professional filming app, Filmic Pro, so that you can decide if it's worth upgrading. Roll that intro. All right, so the standard camera on most iPhones produce good quality footage, but you may get better results using a third-party app like Filmic Pro. For those of you that are not familiar with Filmic Pro, it's basically a professional camera app that allows you to have more control over your camera that you normally wouldn't get in a high-end video camera like that over there. Now, I personally really like and use Filmic Pro since it offers a lot of features that I find important for creating high quality videos. It's a well-known app and is also a very popular choice for a lot of mobile filmmakers. Believe it or not, Sean Baker, who's a film director, shot a whole movie using Filmic Pro on an iPhone 5S, I think, which is called Tangerine. The film got premiered at the Sundance Film Festival and went on screen around the world. I haven't seen the film myself yet, but I've seen cutouts of it and it does look pretty awesome. Anyways, to give you an idea, we are first going to look at the similarities that the standard camera and Filmic Pro has. Then we're going to move on to the main differences. There are a lot of differences between these two camera apps, but I'm just going to cover the most important ones. In the end, I will give you a quick summary, give you my thoughts on it and answer the question if Filmic Pro is worth upgrading for you. So let's not waste any time and get into the video. All right, let's talk about these similarities. There are actually four similarities that I could find. The first one would be locking focus and exposure. With the standard camera, you can lock your focus and exposure by tapping on the screen and holding down your finger for a couple of seconds. A small yellow box will start to flash with IE AF lock appearing. AE stands for auto exposure and AF for auto focus. Your focus and exposure is now locked. If you reframe to something else, you will see that the focus and exposure won't change. With Filmic Pro, you have two reticles, the square controlling the focus and the circle controlling the exposure. You can tap on each reticle to turn it red and that means that it's locked. The second one is adjusting your exposure. So with the standard camera, you can manually set your exposure by tapping on the iPhone screen on the point of focus. A yellow box will appear with the sun icon. You can move your fingers up or down the screen to brighten or darken your exposure. With Filmic Pro, you can tap and hold on the circle reticle to open the manual controls. A slider to the left will appear that controls the ISO and shutter. Moving the slider up or down will adjust the exposure. So the third one would be switching resolution and frame rates. On the standard camera app, you have your current resolution and frame rate displayed at the very top left. You can change that by tapping on one of them. With Filmic Pro, you have your resolution and frame rate displayed at the bottom where the time code is. To change it, you will find the settings under the gear icon. So the last one would be changing cameras. On both application with my iPhone 11 Pro, I'm able to select all three lenses and switch between them. All right, so now that we've gone through the similarities, let's look at the differences. <sighs> where should I start? Cost. If you own an iPhone, obviously the standard camera comes free. If you consider getting Filmic Pro, you will have to make a one-time payment of $14.99. Though keep in mind that there is an optional in-app purchase for $9.99, which allows you to film in log, which gives you more dynamic range and allows you to have more flexibility when color grading. So if you already bought Filmic Pro, for just $9.99, I think it's worth getting the cinematographer's kit. Focus and exposure. The biggest difference is that the built-in standard camera app doesn't give you separate control over focus and exposure. The standard camera just uses one box for both. With Filmic Pro, you have two reticles, one controlling exposure and the other focus. You even have the option to control these two manually by tap holding on both to bring up the arc slides. 
The other issue is shutter speed. This matters if you want to get that natural motion blur like you see in most movies. The way to achieve that cinematic look is setting your shutter speed double your frame rate. So for example, if you shoot 4K 25 frames per second, you want your shutter speed to be one over 50 of a second. With the standard camera, you're not able to do that. In Filmic Pro, you can just use the manual controls to adjust your shutter speed. Frame rate. Now all iPhones shoot at 24 or 60 frames per second. So if you're in a PAL country like me, you might need an app like Filmic Pro that allows you to adjust your frame rate. This could be important, for example, if you would shoot indoors with artificial lamps in a PAL region, then recording in PAL would be a smart choice. Otherwise, you may see a lot of flickering in your videos. Encoding rate. Filmic Pro allows you to choose different encoding rates. So with Filmic Extreme, for example, I can record video with much more information than Apple standard encoding. The higher the encoding rate, the better the video quality. Image stabilization. When shooting video with the standard iPhone camera, you get a much more narrowed field of view because of the digital image stabilization. Filmic Pro gives you the ability to turn off image stabilization to get the full wide angle field of view. Hardware. So what I really like about Filmic Pro is that it works well with other hardware. You can pair it with all the Osmo Mobile series, including the new OM4 that allows you to use buttons and joysticks to change your exposure and focus. You can also enable the 35 millimeter adapter to attach a lens to your iPhone to get that shallow depth of field in your video. Also with the recent update, you have the option to output a clean HDMI signal, which can be great for live streaming or using it as a webcam. Filmic Remote. This is an awesome feature that is really great for wireless control from another device and video monitoring. This can be really useful if you need to film yourself. So with my second iPhone, I can monitor and see what is happening on screen. Most of the time I use this feature to frame myself and also check the exposure. Picture profile. Another advantage Filmic Pro has over the standard camera is that you can shoot in log format, which is normally found on professional video cameras. Shooting in log will widen the dynamic range of your video, bringing out the shadow details that you wouldn't get without it. This also allows for more flexibility when color correcting and color grading your footage. This format works well for applying LUTs to your video to give it that cinematic look. I just love saying cinematic. Analytics. The standard camera app doesn't give you any tools to analyze your image. Filmic Pro comes with different analytic overlays, which can be very helpful for getting your shot right. So you have zebra stripes that will show when your image is overexposed, the clipping overlay that tells you when your highlights are blown out. With false color, you can see the overexposed area in red and the correctly exposed area in green. The blue area indicates that your image is underexposed. Last but not least, you have focus peaking, which helps you see which parts of the images are in focus. Audio. With Filmic Pro, you're able to select your phone's microphone. On the iPhone 11 Pro, there are three built-in mics and you can also use it with external mics. You can also control the recording volume and monitor your audio using the audio meters. So I think the biggest downside to using Filmic Pro is that it uses a lot of battery. I always make sure that I bring a power bank with me, especially for shooting long videos. Now, is it worth upgrading to Filmic Pro? For someone who is serious about iPhone filmmaking and is willing to take the time to learn it, I suggest upgrading to Filmic Pro. The app is really impressive and turns your high-end smartphone into a cinema camera. It is a new way of filming and I think you will get a lot of value for its price that it will allow you to have more creative control than with the standard camera app. Especially if you're planning on color grading your footage using the log picture profile, this can come in really handy. I know that Filmic Pro is more complex than the standard camera app, but I'm confident that you can learn it too. So make sure to check out some of my videos on Filmic Pro that will help you get started. Now, on the other hand, it's definitely possible to create good videos using the standard camera app, if done correctly. 
If you want to learn more on how to use your standard camera on your iPhone, I also got you covered for that. Make sure to watch these two videos right here that will make your videos look even better. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Bennett Grazer and I will see you hopefully in the next video. Bye.